Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. The avocado is an oil-rich fruit that requires a large energy investment for the fruit to mature. Apart from the oily flesh, the fruit also has a large seed that accounts for an even larger energy expenditure. So, what does this mean for commercial growers? Well, the avocado trees are under a lot of pressure to photosynthesize in order to supply the developing fruit with carbohydrates. This results in very low fruit set, as low as 0.001% in some cases, and more importantly, a phenomenon known as alternate bearing. This describes the tendency of many fruit trees to have irregular yields year on year. In other words, in one year, the tree will produce an above average yield. However, the stress placed on the tree sends it into a recovery phase the following year, where below average yields are received. These are commonly known as on and off years in the industry. It is believed that alternate bearing can be triggered by factors hindering fruit production, like frost or drought, which decreases crop load in the first year, and the problem snowballs from there. Alternate bearing is observed in species like apples, mangoes and nut trees. However, because the avocado fruit demands a huge energy investment, alternate bearing can be particularly problematic in avocado trees, especially if they are mismanaged. In the avocados specifically, on years are characterized by heavy blooms and increased crop loads, but the fruit is smaller and therefore less valuable. Off years have decreased blooming and very low yields, but the fruit are larger. Therefore, it is extremely important for commercial farmers to manage their trees to minimize the stark contrasts between on and off years in order to maintain economic stability. Management practices to mitigate the issue include culling excess fruit during on years, pruning trees to lower the number of flowering sites and using growth regulators to manipulate production cycles. If you are interested in commercial avocado farming, keep an eye out for our future course focusing on the principles of avocado production. You can keep yourself updated by subscribing to our mailing list and YouTube channel. All the links you need can be found in the description. Thank you for watching and see you soon.